hey guys welcome back so on today's video we will be talking about jenny 69 Hilo, and miss lady pinks so as many of you know just days ago the internet was going crazy because there were rumors stating that jenny 69 had been jumped so jenny has spoke out and confirms it indeed happened and claimed she was jumped by miss lady pinks and one of her homegirls now Jenny was on set with Gilo filming for a music video of his and she feels like he set her up. Now according to Jenny, Gilo told her that the reason she got jumped was because she supported SPM. So this clip here is from the video of her bumping SPM after one of her video shoots. And for those who don't know, SPM is a convicted child molester. And this is allegedly the reason she was jumped. And as you guys can see here, after they jumped her, they had this to say and said, We in LA County, we don't support chomos or cop callers. And this was posted, We don't support chomos. Child molesters are parasites no matter who they are. Anyone who supports child molesters is trash too. Time to take out the trash. Now, Jenny calls BS on the whole SPM thing being the reason why she was jumped and had this to say, why couldn't you guys go jump Lux tattoos? Why couldn't you guys go jump Dinero? Why couldn't you guys go jump all those other guys that was in it? Why was it just me? Like, it was an excuse because homegirl has been hating on me for a while and her music is irrelevant and she's irrelevant and she's mad because somebody else is on the come up. So I feel exactly what Jenny is saying. There was a gang of other guys there singing to SPM with her and obviously there was no issue with them doing it. But now moving on, Jenny did make a great point on her live. She spoke about Ms. Lady Pink's being friends with SPM's ex, Carolyn Rodriguez. She was allegedly all up in that tour bus, but yet has beef with someone for bumping a song. Makes no sense. But now moving on, Jenny did say that Gilo pulled her to the side and basically told her that she can't call the cops or it would ruin her reputation. And according to her, Gilo told her that he wanted her to do an interview and say that she got down with Lady Pink's and to make it clear that she does not support SPM. So according to Jenny, after not hearing what he wanted to hear from her, he ended up getting aggressive with her. According to Jenny, he called her out her name, kicked her out of the shoe, and told her she was lucky she was a girl. If not, he would put hands on her. Now, Gilo did speak out and basically denied everything. He said he would never put hands on a woman, that he is against it, and says that Jenny lives off drama. And according to him, he said Jenny told him she was going to make this go viral. Now, he says he would win the thing out of setting her up and says Jenny is basically a snitch and a liar. I'm pressing charges on Kilo. I'm pressing charges on the two girls. Jenny and Lady Pinks used to be cool. As you guys can see here, Miss Lady Pinks used to show love on Jenny's pictures and comment. But it kind of all went downhill after Miss Lady Pinks commented on Jenny's pic and basically told her that she couldn't wear Jordans because it was for the Morenos and that Chicanos don't wear that. And according to Jenny, she had been talking smack about her and even trying to get people from Riverside to turn on her. So Jenny then unfollowed her. And it definitely looked like Miss Pinks felt some type of way. She was definitely trying to find ways to pick at Jenny because she posted this last month and said some of the dumbest words being used is buchona. Now, you guys know Jenny stays calling herself a buchona, so I definitely feel like she was trying to throw some shade. Now, Jenny is receiving a lot of support after speaking out, but there are a lot of people who feel like she deserved it because she listens to SPM. And a lot of people also feel like Jenny likes to play the part. They feel like she tries to act like she's hood, like she's a gangster, so they don't feel sorry for her at all. Now, Jenny made it clear that she is not a gangster. She does not bang, but I know a lot of people do not mess with the fact that she likes to play dress up with the whole chola look. But regardless, that is no reason to jump someone. I feel like if Miss Pink's had a problem with her, she should have handled that one-on-one. -on -one. But yeah, guys, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Do you guys think Gilo set her up? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you guys think about this. But that does conclude the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.